my roommate. There are lots of things that he knows about me and lots of things that I know about him that no one else will ever know. So. There are videos. But they're on VHS and nobody can see them. It's so great to see so many folks out here to come out and support and just celebrate a man that touched all of us. And then, and uh, I've said it before, but he touched multiple generations of people, you know, really starting in the early 90s and then up until today. And it's so cool to see so many faces that over those decades have been impacted by this man. And we're very grateful. And we're very grateful to share it with you tonight. 
next song together uh, and, and it's been known as the peeping Tom song it's the pervert song and it has become one of the most requested satellite songs called watch you through the window but the story behind the song is that he showed me the guitar licks and kind of a couple of some of the chords and they were, they were his idea, and I said, okay, let me take it back and woodshed it a little bit. What do you think about when you're playing the song so that I get some lyrical ideas? And he said, well, I think about going over to my girlfriend's house late at night. And I said, all right, all right, cool. So I took it, I wrote it, and I brought it back to him and I said, what do you think? And he said, it's a little fucked up, but I like it. Enough to make the record. So this is Watch You Through Your Window.
supermarket she would have saw night Boyfriend is a greasy bar Where he came from Now the clock and the ghost not there yet Off the alley she is in tears
but one of our favorite places to play was Jerome, Arizona. The Seven McClellan Brothers, the bikes, the art, and the booze. We played the very first Jerome Biker Jamboree. And I think after we played it, it was the last one, too. And I remember PC and I were standing on the side of the stage, taking a little break while they were doing a wet t-shirt contest. And of course, PC was one of the judges. And the, the organizer was on the side of the stage, and I leaned over to him and I said, what did they win? And he said, win? And I said, the girls, what do the girls win if they win the wet t-shirt contest? And he said, oh shit, I never thought of that. But the reason DC and Callums and Mike and Freddie and Whitey loved that town is none of the girls thought to ask if there was even a prize. We knew where we were going. It's a funny joke Funny that they don't ever know Yeah What would it be like to be a boy When it takes a drink and wrecks your life the counting line At the supermarket she works on that land Now what would you be like to be his wife
there, shall we? He's shrouded in smoke.